Hello and welcome to the channel. This is Summer Sparking Good Time and I'm Summer. Today we're going to be doing a closer look. My version of an unboxing minus the crinkle. Today's kit that we're going to look at is from Diamond Art Club and it is titled I'm Not a Craft Hoarder. It's by Cynthia Frenette. It's 13 by 17 inches or 33 by 43 centimeters. Um, Diamond Art Club does make it easy to tell if you're going to be doing a square or round drill kit with the branding they use. If you see the blue square here and the blue up here, it's square. If you saw a pink circle, the pink line in here, you would know it would be a round kit. Once you open the box, you are going to encounter a tool kit and a sticker. And this sticker has all of the information you need to know about your kit. A lot of people use these on the bottom or top of their boxes to help them find the kit they're looking for. They also use them in their log books, but there is no rules on how you can use your sticker. Use it however you want. Okay, then you're going to run into your toolkit. The toolkit comes in this recyclable bag that has the contents on the reverse. This is really loud when you mess with it, so we're just going to slide it over here. Okay, so... In your toolkit, I'm going to throw things at you, it's okay. You're going to have your pin and your squishy. Okay, squishy comes separate, you're just going to slide it over the top. You're going to have a single brass placer already inserted. It also comes with a four and seven multi placer that are interchangeable. There's also many, many other sizes you can get. Okay, so there's your drill pin. The way you make your drill pin work is you put wax or putty into the ends. Oh, Lord. Closer than I thought. So you're going to put wax or putty into the ends. That's going to cause it to have a slight bit of stick. You're going to use that to touch the diamond and then place it onto the um, drill field. Okay. You do get a, a heart-shaped container with two plates of the uh, pink wax. You do need to know that there is this little bitty cover. Of plastic I'm sure can you see that then if you don't remove that it's gonna be really hard you're gonna take your drill pin squish 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 into it pull it out and you will have wax in your pen um, if you keep it the lid on your little container it'll keep your wax lasting a little bit longer and not let it dry out okay so once you have your pin ready to go you're gonna shake your drills out onto this tray with a wonderful stopper at the funnel the funnel so you can more easily pour your drills back into your drill container. These stoppers to stop your drills from falling out when you're doing the quick little shake, 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 tap, tap, tap to align them. The um, trays have grooves in them so you can use your multi -placer and basically collect the drills that are in each groove to place them on your drill field. You're also going to get a bag of baggies. People use the bag of baggies to either kit up their um, drills or to store their drills, their extra drills at the end of the um, diamond painting process. I forgot how to speak. I'm so sorry. Because this is a square kit, you're also going to get a set of tweezers. We call these murder tweezers at our house because the tips are extremely, extremely sharp. I've heard of multiple creators talking about how they have accidentally stabbed themselves with these. So we strongly suggest that you keep this little rubber tip over the top so you do not injure yourself. We're not responsible if you don't. <laughs> We're not responsible if you do either, but you know what I mean. Okay, your uh, random items that you're going to get in your kit where you never know what you're going to get is a washi and a cover reminder. The washi is just a random design. We use this uh, typically around the edges of our drill field on the canvas um, because it normally has a little bit of sticky that goes past the drill field just to keep it clean and not yucky. Especially if you have pets or children, I strongly recommend doing this. Next up, we have our cover minder. Once again, this is a random selection. Um, I happen to get a paw. It's a black with a white accent. It's going to have a magnet on the back and that uh, permanently attached, and a second one that will magnet or snap together. I'm going to give you a better idea of what we're going to do with this once we get into the canvas. Okay, so now we've dealt with all that. The next thing you're going to encounter is this bag and in this bag your canvas is going to be rolled up inside that rolled up canvas you're going to have a bag that contains all your drills 
a larger sticker in your thank you uh, booklet from the founder. This is a nice little message from the founder, Angie. It includes your contents of your entire kit in multiple languages, tips and tricks, um, QR codes to step-by-step uh, -step instructions, and a QR code to a VIP Facebook group. Uh, then, once again, step-by-step -step instructions in multiple language. Um, there is codes for money off. There's QR codes on the back for both Android and Apple products to get the app. And the first time you make a purchase of the app, you do get 20% off. So, strategically use your coupons. Oops, pardon me. Also, what you're going to get is your larger sticker. This is the one most commonly used in logbooks because it tells you everything you need to know about your kit but it also includes a place to write your start and end date. A lot of people like to log how long each kit takes them. Okay, this is also gonna be where you have your individual uh, stickers for your drill containers. Mine are missing because I've already drilled this, or fitted this up because I didn't want you to have to deal with the crinkle of the drill bags. Of course, you see that there are a lot of extra um, unused individually cut stickers. A lot of people will save those for um, kits that don't come with stickers. Okay. Now, now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the drills. There's only 20 colors in this kit. So let's start off with number one is 105. It is a taupe coffee colored AB. And my little drills just all filled out. Okay. Number two is 208. It's a bright purple. Three is 210. It's a paler purple, not quite as much. Four is 321, and it's a dark red. Five is 598. It's a teal. Like a pale teal or muted teal, I guess. Color six is 747. It's a paler version of that teal. Color seven is 819. It is a very pale peach. Color eight is 828. Ooh, summer. And it's another pale blue. Not quite teal on this one. More, more of a beachy blue, I would say. Color number nine is 891. Okay, come on. There it is. And it is a bright pink. Is it still away? A round still away. Okay, this is a bright pink. I'm hoping that this camera is getting the right color. But this is like a, almost like a fuchsia pink. Okay, color 10 is 892. It's another bright pink. Color 11 is 893. And it's almost, almost salmon, but still pink. There is a dryer sheet in there because I ran into static when I was kidding up. Color 12 is 959 and it's a bright teal. Color 13 is 963. It's a very pale pink. Color 14 is 3608. I'm on little camera. And it is... My lighting just completely changed. Did everyone see that? It is like a pink that has a purple tone, if that makes sense. Color 15 is 3708 and this is a pink that has a little touch of a salmon tone to it color 16 is 3810 and is a very darker color teal color 17 is 3849 and it is the bold bright teal that i've seen in multiple uh, other kids 
very, very common, I think, in the Simone Candini kits. Okay. Then we have color 18, which is 3865, which is a like, off-white color. Not a true white, as you can see, but it's an off-white. Now we've coming to our special diamonds. We have K444, which is the electro diamonds or drills. And this one is like a gold color. These are just very metallic. The uh, Diamond Art Club calls them electro diamonds. And our other special drill. Oh, dear Lord. What do they call them? I will insert the word because I completely just forgot. Iridescent? I think it might be iridescent. Okay. Iridescent. And it's an L5200. It's basically a clear square crystal, guys. It is breathtaking. It is so beautiful. It looks like I just have a jar of diamonds in real life. Okay. So now that we've gone over our drill colors, because that's it. All you get is 20. This is a little snack, a snack side piece is what I call them. Because I'll be using this as um, I'm as a break from my major um, project and my evening. I typically, let me just go into this. I typically have four to five projects running at one time. I'll have my main piece, which is the piece I'm doing just for me. I'll have my event piece or two that are going with um, whatever event I'm participating in. I have my long haul piece, which is something that is um, larger, like one of the panels or uh, like a project type piece. It's, this is not going to be done in a week or two or even maybe not even a month. It's like my long term. And then I have my side piece, which is what I do to get a break when I just don't want to do any of those. And it gives me that uh, the finished fix because I can whip this out. Um, I tend to whip out these smaller kits in less than a week. Um, I think it, it, it's, this is just my, this is my um, palette cleanser <laughs> or the, I don't want to do that. I want to do something else. And what I normally tend to do is I try to have a variation of types of kits. So there's, I have rounds and squares going on the both at the same time. I have bright and colorful, dark and broody, autumn colors, spring colors, because I don't want to get burnt out. So I have like a rotation that, so I can choose what I'm going to work on at any given time to not get burnt out. Okay. Remember that cover reminder we were talking about? I'm going to show you how we use that. On top of this canvas on your drill field, there is this layer of plastic, if you're unfamiliar, and this keeps your sticky clean and sticky. If we didn't have that on it, your canvas would stick to everything. So, but when it's time to work on it, you need to remove this sticky somehow. Now, you could go buy release papers or um, and use that. You can also use parchment paper to take off the cover and put that on. Or you can do um, sectioning of your canvas. And um, normally when you're doing that or if you're just going out at wild, you're going to take the back magnet. You're going to stick it behind your kit. I normally try to find out where it is first. So now this is attached to the magnet, right? It's not moving. Okay. Then what I can do is I can lift my plastic, lift my magnet, and then redo my magnet. And this plastic is now not over this, the sticky. And I can work in that section. Okay. I'm going to test the stick while we have it pulled out. And of course, it's Diamond Art Club top tier. This, that sticky is awesome. I've never ran into a problem with Diamond Art Club. That wasn't my fault. <laughs> so now let's take a closer look at the canvas. Okay. At the very top of the canvas, we do have the Diamond Art Club branding. It says, do what makes you sparkle with their pink diamond. Top left, you're going to have a legend. Bottom right, you're going to have a legend. Very bottom left, you're going to have your thumbnail and the information about the kit showing that yeah, they are um, licensing it from the artist. Basically, everything you need to know, they have their socials, they have their warranty. Um, Diamond Art Club does have a warranty. So, like, uh, say something happens and you have a disaster and you don't have all the drills you need, you can contact them and they will um, get back to you and get you some uh, replacement drills. I believe there's, like, limits and stuff on the lifetime thing, but as long as you're the original owner, you're good. 
Um, I know I ordered a kit and there was some mix up where I did not get one color of the whole kit. Everything else was there, but it was missing one color. And so I contacted Diamond Art Club. They sent me out that color. I had it within a week. It was easy peasy. Okay. So this is, this, I bought this kit because, um, I just started a diamond painting in August and I'm, I have over 50 kits. I don't know exactly how many, but we'll just say I have over 50 kits. Okay. I have a collection. It says that I have a diamond art kit collection. Okay. So I thought this was adorable, funny, nice little snack or side piece kit. Okay. Let's take a quick look at the drill field. I have to get it up here and let it focus. Come on. Okay. As you can see, as always, with the Diamond Art Club, I'm trying to go a different angle because my lights so you can see colors are making it where you can't. I'm getting a bad glare. Okay. So as you can see, super easy. Okay. So we're going to take a quick look. You see where the number one is? That beige brown coffee color at the one? That's where your ABs are going to go. Okay. This, uh, the white squares with the uh, the slash, those are going to be our um, crystals, and then our electro diamonds. Oh, iridescent! I'm sorry, these are iridescent diamonds. They're, they're crystals, and these right here are going to be our um, electro diamonds, the metallics. So you know what it looks like. So now that we're looking down here, these ABs, AB, this smattering right here, not the words, but the smattering. They're the crystals. Um, AB, AB, electro diamonds, electro diamonds, electro diamonds, ABs, ABs, AB, AB, electro diamond there. Got electro diamonds coming down. I mean, ABs coming down right here. Um, the lines coming out of the sparkling are the crystals. Okay. These are actually just white. It's not, but the smattering around it are crystals. Okay. You do have ABs in the swirls here. We have more uh, electro diamonds and crystals. This is going to be fabulous. And if I remember, because <laughs> I'm very new to doing the YouTube and the video and thing, I'm going to attempt to do a time lapse start to finish on this kit for you guys. We'll see. I just finished up my other side piece um, night before last. So hopefully, after I get done doing all my recording today, <laughs> I'll get to start on this kit, <laughs> but, um, I'm, I, I did a goal, uh, that a couple of people were talking about the need to, when you get started on YouTube, the biggest problem of why people don't know who you are, or people aren't finding your videos is you don't have enough content to give the algorithm information. So they tell you to do 30 videos in 30 days. I own my own business. 30 videos in 30 days is hard, <laughs> but. I am, I already have, I believe, six videos up, so I only have 24 to go. This will be uh, another one. I'm hoping to basically film most of today. It's Sunday. Um, and then have videos uh, that I can at least have filmed and I can either edit or whatnot and get everything ready so I can release them throughout the week because I own my own business. I'm busy. And it's a solid booked week. So, once again... Here's your kit, or my kit, but the one you can get. It's currently, I believe, uh, out of stock online. I will have the uh, link included down there, but you can put your email in and be notified when it's back in stock. Um, I had done that when it was released and got sold out. Um, and when I got the notification, I instantly went and bought it, and I believe it was sold out once again super quickly. Um, I, I was quite surprised at how fast it was selling out both, both times I saw it. So... Well, that's what we have. Ugh, I cannot speak today, y'all. I'm so sorry. So this is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoy our closer look. I'll catch you next time. And we are going to try, hopefully, a different diamond painting company to take a closer look at. Have a great day, y'all. I appreciate you coming. Oh, dark. I almost forget. I always forget to say this. If you can do all the things, you know, the, 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 the thumbs up, the subscribe, the comments, the share, the hit the bell, all the things. You know what I'm talking about. And I do have my um, Instagram information down below um, if you want to follow me there because I do uh, try to post regular updates of what I'm working on there. All right. Love y'all and have a great day.